What is up guys? Welcome to another today's angler ice fishing video. Um, fishing somewhere new. Never fished this lake before. Never fished this species before inland. Um, doing something different. I got the machine to do it. I can run around. I can chase these fish. Um, it's going to be an absolute beautiful day. 38 degrees. Um, doesn't get much better than that. I was going to hit Superior for the first time today, but big southwest 10 to 20s today. And, you know, I didn't want to be on the news. I didn't want to be uh, floating off to sea. I just don't know that water that good. And I'm not going to go and risk my life for ice fishing. I like ice fishing, but I don't like it that much. I like muskies more. Uh, live to fish a new day. I'm sure it's going to be safe out there. But, hey, you never know. Um, I'm not experienced enough to uh, judge that, so I'm not going to take a chance. So I'm fishing inland, fishing a very deep water, deep water lake. Um, I'm going to go for whitefish. Whitefish. I fell in love with this species last year on Lake Superior. They fight hard. They're aggressive. They're way more aggressive than I ever thought. They're big. Um, on light gear, they are really, really fun to catch. And I guess they taste good too, so I don't know. I'm not going to keep any today, that's for sure. I don't know. I tried them the one time. Not the greatest thing. Um, I'd rather eat a pike. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to get uh, some holes popped. Um, I'm just on this beautiful uh, rock extension that goes right into the uh, main basin here. Uh, I'm going to start out in 48, 50 feet of water and uh, kind of work my way out deeper on this uh, on this point. So um, yeah, that's the game plan. Let's get fishing. Oh boy. We may have a white fish 15 feet away. Um, fishing 46 feet of water, so closer to shore is that rock spine, and this is looking really good. Well, I brought my other flasher. Just these uh, live scopes, whatnot, don't work the best in the deepest of water. So I'm looking pretty good here, though. I'm loving it. I'm just filming the wrong direction, but hey, that's okay. Shout out to Lee. I picked this up from him. Um, a nice little two two man shack flip over. Um, it is a lot more convenient. I never really realized how convenient the little flip overs are, but um, to be able to hole hop and whatnot, or just to be able to switch positions, fish different spots, it's been very helpful. There's my tackle bag. I got some intel what they were biting out here, so. Hopefully, I've got that kind of stuff. Um, said green. I'm actually gonna try this Mickey jig. It's a little, since we're fishing such deep water, you gotta use braid, but you also wanna be able to, you know, get a, so you're not using mono or fluoro. But this is pretty heavy, pretty small. I'm gonna just tip that with a waxy. I never used, oh wow, it's rubber. I didn't realize that. A little Mickey jig, I don't know. Never used it, but it's big enough. This could be a cool whitefish killer. I got wax worms. Just gotta put this on. Yeah, I like this. Dang it, had my first crazy bite. Oh, it's come back. Got him. I got him. I'm hooked up. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Yes! Just switch to a spoon. Look at them dog down there. Oh, that is so flipping cool. Kind of tighten my my little zone here. Oops, don't want to break that rod. Oh no! Don't want to get out. No, he popped me off. Ah. Well, tungsten spoon, white, and some bars. I like it matters. I, I just put a fat head head on it. Um, just came up, smoked it, and you can see the bubbles going down with the live scope. That's really a bummer. I don't know if the head of the minnow really matters or was it just the meat, but either way, first whitefish action. 
of the day. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to see that thing. Really wanted to see that thing, but he's going back down. They always come off at the hole. I should have just got it up with the transducer on. <laughs> just left the transducer in. I got a little loose and came off. Well, alrighty, folks. Well, that uh, fish came off about two, three feet off the bottom. Um, I'm just with all these high marks. It's really hard for me to decide where to really be working my baits when you got a 55 feet of water. Good to know they're gonna bite right off the bottom. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Another one just popped up. Should get a camera on my flasher. Can't read it. When I get my bait close to the bottom, I can't read it on the live scope. Came firing up. Here it comes again. Two of them. Oh, you look at him chase. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun now. Oh, I'm happy I'm not on Superior right now. I uh, just did not, just did not want to be out there alone. No, he's off again. He's off again. He's off again. Oh, my gosh. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a big one too. That, that you could just feel how heavy that thing was. Oh, I mean, there's a possibility of a five, six pound, seven pound whitefish out of here. Oh, that's so sad. All right, they're fired up though. I'm on a good spot. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's see if I can get this thing over the, over on the top side here, 30 feet, 35 feet down. They just come off the bottom. Gosh, they just, they're so hard. Come on, come on. I finally got one up here. Yes. Look how that weird looking animal, that's what I'm going for. Woo! I don't know if you can kill these things. Target species acquired. They're not the prettiest things, but man, do they fight. It's a small one. Um, oh, it feels good. Doing something different. First time ever trying this. And uh, it worked out. Yeah, I could keep this one. But I don't know. I, I don't feel like filleting anything. And the beautif beautiful thing about these you know, fishing these deep water fish like that, they release just fine. You don't have to worry about their air bladder or anything. Um, super cool. 55 feet of water. That's so fun. All right. Um, yeah, I'd catch a few more of those today. Got them. Got them. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I don't know if it's any bigger. It's just the way they just dog you. Just love it. All right, getting close to the hole. And he's off. <laughs> These are really hard to catch. <laughs> Let's just say that. I don't get it. I mean, treble hook should I don't know what's happening. It's not like it's getting caught on the edge. It's like anytime I try for that transducer, I went a little bit lighter that time just to see if that would help. Unreal. Oh, well, they're back here. Wow, this is crazy. Not many times you can just go out and try something and it actually works, so I'm pretty pumped out about that. Got him. Got him. 
This seems more serious. No, gosh dang it. What is happening? One for six. I don't think you'll bite again, but. Gosh, is that a big mark. That felt so heavy. I mean, I don't know much how lighter I can go. I mean, this is not a stiff rod by any means. Maybe I gotta give it to him harder? I don't know. I thought that was my problem right, right off the bat this morning when I was hooking them and losing them. Maybe I'll go really gentle next time, and if that doesn't work, then I don't know. That's crazy, though. Gosh, that was a good fish. Just came out of nowhere, crawling on the bottom. There we go. Just gonna go nice and easy on him. Doesn't feel like a big one. Go nice and easy. Maybe this is how this... That's how you gotta fight these things. Come on. Can I get it up the hole? They just head shake so much. Such an interesting fight. I mean, look at that rod. Just bending, 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 bending. There we go. There we go. Of course, I catch the small ones. Didn't hurt them at all. Another cool little animal. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, two for seven, two for seven. Got him. Got him. Gosh, does that feel way better. Please stay on. Feels way better. Please stay on. Please stay on. I want to see one of these big ones. Just get it up to the hole at least. Come on, he's getting close to the edge. Oh yeah, there's a better one. Not even, just fighting really hard. <laughs> oh man, that is so much fun. What an underrated fish. I mean, I know a lot of guys do it just for the food part of it. Out on the Great Lakes, but doing it inland sure is a fun time though. Oh yeah, I remember this. You guys are really hard to unhook sometimes. And they like to shake. Another one down. Cool fish, cool animal. Man, I thought that was gonna be, you know, an actual four or five pounder, but not uh, running into those today, but still, cool fish. Get them back. Bye bye. Go watch them on live scope there. <laughs> Whew, there's a couple in that pack. Gosh, they are just so aggressive. It's just so much fun. It really is unbelievable. <laughs> you wouldn't imagine a fish like that would be that aggressive to eat a spoon. Um, here's the deal. Got a, gosh, I wish I knew what size this was. Um, rather small tungsten spoon. I love these tungsten spoons for the steeper water. Um, low profile and they're heavy, they sink fast, which is cool. I'm um, using a Shimano Sedona rod, and this is a medium light 34 incher, and then a 500 Sedona reel. I got eight pound Power Pro uh, ice line on there, and then a little eight pound fluorocarbon leader. So that's the deal. I probably should be using a swivel, but I just got a uni knotted. Swivel would probably save my, my line from getting all knotted up, but cool fish. Onward. Oh, here we go. High flyer. That was cool. And he's off. I just really hate 
that this keeps happening to me. He's gonna bite it again. He's gonna bite it again. Oh, I love whitefish. Not many species do that. Oh, that was sweet. That's happened to me on Superior before, I believe. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh my gosh. That's, oh my gosh, that's a giant crappie. Oh, that sucks. There's not a chance this thing's gonna survive. I did not obviously know that was gonna be a flipping crappie. I don't know how I was supposed to know, but <laughs> not target species. Oh, that sucks. Beautiful crappie though, but I don't think he's going to survive with his air bladder like that. I guess I'm taking one home. Obviously not target species. Wow. That's a, that's a beautiful fish, but, you know, <laughs> yanking one up at 40 feet of water. That's, uh, gosh, that sucks. Well, I guess I have to fillet a crappie this evening. Dang it. It's not what you want. How does it bite it twice? I've yanked it up six, seven feet and then the thing does it again. Oh, that was nuts. It's the only bad thing about ice fishing. Some fish die when you're fishing this deep, but not targets. Dang it. Whoa. Look at those Cisco's move. Look at those Cisco's move. There's a white fish coming. Just working a whitefish underneath. Let's see what these Cisco's do to the my uh, my tungsten jig here. Wow, was that amazing to see? I don't think they're gonna. They're not gonna even swim by it. The only thing I really missed out on uh, going to uh, an inland lake instead of Superior was man. Do I have a taste for the coho salmon out there they are just so that's some of the best tasting fish in the planet coming out of lake superior like that especially ice fishing um yeah that's the only thing i miss hopefully eventually get out there one of these days i just did not want to deal with a big wind out there warm weather i just i don't want anything bad to happen ice fishing Come on. Got him. Nice. I just love watching <clears throat> how they interact with the bait. I mean, that thing tapped it two, three times before it made, uh, made the real decision of just crushing it. Oh no. Just another little guy. <laughs> I really thought I'd be on to some nicer fish today, but I know there's big ones out here. I know I had to have lost a nice one earlier. So that's what it is. Who cares? Catching fish, catching the species I don't get to really chase often. So that's fun. Could have been a stellar day if I, uh, if I ended up uh, keeping those five or so pins, but it's all right. Number fourth whitefish of the day. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's dogging me really good. I know I've said that, but this feels different. And I probably won't even land him because that's how this, this whitefish is going for me. Gosh, is that so cool. Taking my time. This just, just feels like weight though. No, no, no. Okay, just running with me. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, get out of there. That's a better one. That's a better one. That's what I'm after. This is a nice size one. 
Um, they'd get bigger than this though, so that would be cool to catch today at some point. I don't know when, but he's ready to roll. Cool. It's so flipping fun. Bye bye, buddy. Oh, that is fun. I'm liking this. That is a wrap on my first time ever trying for uh, whitefish. What an underrated fish, such a cool animal. Um, really fun when they, uh, when they play along, um, but there's so, so many points in the day. Um, it was kind of hard to film that of how it is such a waiting game. Um, you'll sit there for an hour without anything happens and then boom, two, three come rolling in and then you get one to bite. Um, definitely a sporadic bite. But super fun, inland water, chasing them, did something new, and it worked out, so that was cool. Stay tuned for some more podcasts, hoping to get some, some awesome guests on the show, and um, also do a, little bit of, do a little bit more ice fishing coming up. That's the game plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.